There are a lot of great reasons you'd want to add a pre-recorded video to your live stream. Maybe you want to run a countdown timer, or you've pre-recorded a welcome message to your viewers, or maybe you just want to play some ads from your sponsors throughout your streams. In this video, I'll be showing you three different ways to add a pre-roll video to your live stream. One using hardware, one using software, and the last one happens in the cloud. Ooh. So there's about a million different ways you can go about doing this, but we've picked three very easy methods so you don't have to go out and spend thousands and thousands of dollars on expensive gear when all you really want to do is drop in a simple video into your live stream. Okay, let's get started. All right, method number one. In this setup, we're using a Blackmagic A10 Mini because it's so affordable and easy to use. And you can switch between four different cameras or video sources. The A10 Mini is outputting my mixed feed over here into our Boxcaster over HDMI. P.S. If you don't know what a video switcher is, that's okay. We actually have a quick video explaining it. Check it out in the description. So here we have what would be our main camera plugged into input one on the video switcher. And in input two, I've actually connected my laptop, which just has a simple countdown video loaded on QuickTime. This leads up to the start of our live stream. Whenever I'm ready to roll the video, I just hit the space bar and it starts playing out to the switcher. Once the countdown timer finishes up, I just select input one on the A10 Mini, and you'll see the countdown timer fade from the laptop feed to our live camera feed. And that's how it works. You can do this with multiple videos and at any point in the live stream, just make sure to have the videos preloaded and ready to roll on your laptop. This is actually exactly how we kick off our BoxCast webinars, except we use the ATEM TV Studio, which is just a step up from the ATEM Mini, but it essentially works the same. So on to our second method. You can also add a pre-roll video to your live stream by using a free software like OBS. This initially requires less hardware, but you do need a capture card to connect your live video feed to your computer. So here I have my live camera feed connected to my laptop using an Ultra Studio Mini recorder. And you can see it here playing in OBS. I also have the countdown timer file on my desktop. To add it to OBS, I'm going to create a new scene, rename it to pre-roll, and then I'm gonna click here to add a source. Select media source, and then select the file from my desktop. Then I'll just make sure to resize the video so it fits in the frame. Then, whenever you're ready to start the video, just select the scene. And when the video is finished, you can transition to your live feed. If you don't want to stream using RTMP, but instead want to output your feed to a device like the Boxcaster, you can simply do this by right-clicking this part of the program screen, going to full screen projector, and selecting your secondary display. All right, so last but certainly not least, number three, uploading a pre-broadcast video in the BoxCast dashboard. This is the easiest way to add a pre-roll video to your live stream, and it requires no extra hardware or software. But it's important to note that the video lives in the cloud, so you won't be able to cut to your live feed in real time like you can with a video switcher. Instead, it'll play automatically as a separate video file when people visit your embedded player on your website. This method is especially useful if you want to play a promotional video or a welcome message before your live stream begins. But our embedded player also allows you to use a countdown timer, which automatically overlays on top of your video without the need for any extra editing. All you have to do is head over to the embed section of the BoxCast dashboard, select your embed criteria, click advanced settings, and upload your broadcast here. You'll also see you have the ability to add the countdown timer right here. Now all you have to do is copy and paste this embed code into your website. You can also set your pre-roll video to appear in all of your boxcast.tv links. You can do this by heading to your settings, preferences, player defaults, and then uploading a default pre-broadcast video. Another limitation here is that the pre-broadcast video won't play before any of your simulcast streams, but it's really nice to be able to set the video ahead of time to play before all your embedded live streams, a channel, or an individual broadcast. So that's all we have for today. You can check out all the gear and the software we use in this video in the description below. 
If you like this video, give us a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And if you have any questions, you can let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and happy streaming.